Okay, everyone, I'm going to talk about why deep vein thrombosis does not cause stroke. Okay, so let's just quickly run through what deep vein thrombosis is. So deep vein thrombosis is when um, there's blood clots in the veins, and usually this is in the lower extremities in your legs, and the symptoms are like swelling of the legs and pain and tenderness. So um, because uh, you get edema, because when there's a clot, the blood doesn't circulate properly and then you have a fluid retention in your lower extremities uh, just because of gravity and the back uh, pressure. So you can see that uh, there's a big clot there and the blood is turning back. All right. So uh, some risk factors are uh, immobility, so people who have, uh, have, have had a surgery or been on planes for too long flights, um, thrombo, uh, pro-thrombotic drugs such as a contraceptive, oral contraceptive pill and hormone replacement therapy, coagulation abnormalities, age and if they have had a thrombosis before, so they are more prone to a second time. Okay, so um, the reason why um, DVT does not cause stroke is because you see right here you have a, a little thrombus just broken off from the main um, clot and then it's moving up the veins up into the heart okay so this is on the right uh, so it goes into the right atrium which then get pumped down to the right ventricle and it goes up into the pulmonary circulation okay and goes to the lungs and then the lungs then distribute down into these tiny uh, blood vessels and then the clot is too big uh, to get through those tiny vessels, so it gets stuck there. And then it forms a th uh, po what they call, we call pulmonary embolism. Okay, so if the clot gets stuck there, it can't return to the heart to go to the brain. So, uh, by definition, stroke is um, uh, has to do with the brain. And if it doesn't go to the left ventricle to get pumped up into the brain, then it can't cause stroke. And that's the reason why DVT does not cause stroke is because the clot is cannot get back into the heart to go to the brain. Okay, so you get a pulmonary embolism, and then signs and symptoms of pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolisms are chest pain, so usually sharp, stabbing pain, cough, and shortness of breath. So you can explain this kind of the same. You know, you get. Um, that back pressure, fluid retention in the uh, lungs, just because you can't, the water, and the blood can't move, so you you can start coughing when there's fluid in your lungs, and then um, if the lungs is not function properly, and there's um, blood can't move around, then you get shortness of breath, so you're losing oxygen and blood, and that is why, just to reiterate. DVT does not cause stroke, okay?